Welcome to this Palace Athena transmission, open to the protection of the Goddess of Light. Now Athena has roots in very ancient matriarchal cultures where she was venerated long before Greek civilization in Europe as we know it. She was connected with ancient practices, symbol of the snake and serpents were seen as wise portents and bringers of luck and joy. And later she became adopted by the patriarchal societies, initially that of ancient Greece, and became the goddess of, of war and strategy and protection. So this aspect of the goddess has survived patriarchal domination and can help at this time navigating the dissolution of patriarchal structures as we pass through this time of high volatility and challenge. So as always we begin with the breath, open, soften, relax, open, soften, relax, with your breath calling light to you. light to you from the universe around 360 degrees as if you were at the center of the universe that you can draw in light into the very cells of your body with your breath and on your out breath release whatever needs releasing within your field release what needs releasing within the physical body etheric body chakra system emotional body and mental body releasing what needs to be released and breathe in more light from the stars into your body as if every cell of your body can become a shining star and releasing anything that needs to be released that blocks your sparkle of light releasing back to the universe. And just follow this cycle of breath. More light on the in breath, releasing old energies on the out breath, especially those energies that do not belong to you. and calling the horizontal plane angels as always beginning in the east the place of the rising sun we focus on the energy of air the direction of east the archangel of air is Raphael the symbol of Raphael is a caduceus a crystal wand with golden snakes and golden wings. As you focus on the symbol, you call the energy of emerald green fire to you. Just breathe in that fire wherever you need it to support and cleanse your body, physical, etheric, emotional, or mental. Clear and cleanse any of your energy bodies with emerald green fire, allowing more light to return to you, clearing any shock, trauma or stress in your body. Shock, trauma or stress. Just breathing and allowing this energy to clear and cleanse you and radiate out through your energy fields, all layers of your light body, all layers of the aura, clear and cleanse any shadows in your field. And to the south, we call Michael, Archangel of Fire, Warrior Protector Angel. 
the symbol of this angel is a silver sword and the energy is electric blue fire call that electric blue fire into your body wherever you need to clear and cleanse your field particularly the solar plexus particularly the solar plexus electric blue fire in your center of power and will clear and cleanse and release other people's energy or interference other people's energy or interference allow this center to return to its original power and light So electric blue, fire, cleansing, clearing your center of will and power. And breathe and open and soften, relax and as this is happening we turn to the west and the west is the direction of water, Archangel Gabriel, Messenger Angel. The symbol is a silver chalice. The energy is diamond white fire. Call that fire around you like a waterfall of light. Clearing and cleansing shadows in your field. 12 feet in all directions. So a radius of 12 feet out, passing through your body, diamond white fire and around your body. Clear and cleanse shadows in your field. And to the north, Uriel, Archangel of Earth. The symbol is a golden pentacle, five-pointed star in a circle of light and the energy as you focus on this symbol is ruby red fire bringing that fire into your blood into your blood clearing cleansing any programming and energies in the blood that need to be cleared and cleansed And just breathing and allowing these four angels and four fires around you to adjust your field, to adjust your field. And opening your field. And as these angels work on your field, we call to Metatron of the central sun who holds the Christ grid. Metatron to bring down that Christ grid down into the room. Down towards your body, top of head. passing down through your body, down through the head, through the neck and chest and anchoring into the heart. Anchoring into the heart, allowing all chakras from the heart upwards to align with the Christ grid. Allowing light into all layers and levels of each chakra. More light in chakras from the heart upwards. And even chakras above the head, beyond the body, can begin to open and align with this Christ grid.
So it's just breathing with that. And I call to Sandophon, to the earth, to bring up the crystalline grid of the earth, a crystal white grid, crystal white fiery grid up through the feet. through the legs and sweeping up through the body, through torso, through belly, to heart and anchoring into the heart, anchoring into the heart. Allow this synergy of two grids in the heart, connecting you to heaven and earth. And as this happens, I call to your team in spirit of the highest light and resonance to be with you. Ah, so six angels around you and your team in spirit guides, other angels, star beings, gathering for this transmission. And calling upon the goddess herself in her aspect as Pallas Athena. And this aspect of the goddess was often seen as the patron of the hero's journey and was associated with many heroes, many heroes, Jason and the Argonauts, and Perseus. And in this lifetime, we are all on this hero's journey, banishing the dark, clearing demons, moving forward in our souls, mission on the earth plane. And calling this goddess now, this ancient goddess, who's also had lots of connections with more modern cultures, patriarchal cultures who's well versed in dealing with aggression and conflict, brings a swift conclusion as she is the goddess of strategy and wisdom. Just calling upon that goddess now and just taking a moment just to connect with her and perhaps to communicate the issue, the challenge, the dilemma you're currently facing as you move through these crumbling 3D paradigms. Just communicating your own particular challenge now and your own desire for help, healing and perhaps shielding in this time. And let's call upon the goddess and your higher self together to begin to create a shield of light around you a great bubble of shield of light around you, 360 degrees, just shielding you off from the worst volatility of the 3D plane. And 
giving you some respite from chaos, allowing a greater sense of light and peace around you, light and peace. as the light shield forms and intensifies around you in all directions and they call upon your higher self and the goddess Athena and Metatron to seal any openings in your auric field any openings that make you vulnerable to intrusions from lower frequency energies seal any openings, tears or rips in your field and a call upon your higher self and Archangel Michael to cut any cords with people or situations that are interfering in your energy field. Call now upon the sword of Michael to cut and reverse anything that's not divine in your life and situation. Cutting all interference, all threads And as that's happening, I call upon your higher self, Michael and Metatron to begin to clear any entities or attachments in your field. And Metatron opens a great portal of light above your head. Beginning to extract with your permission any shadows in your field. Any shadowy energies releasing back to the universe's pure light, pulling it out from your field, anything limiting you, holding you back. Just breathe and allowing energies or entities to be cleared from your field, shadows to be cleared. call upon higher self Metatron and Michael to evoke and destroy any agreements or vows you have in your Akashic records to suffer 
to struggle, to be limited, to be engaged in fighting evil because fighting the dark only increases the power of the darkness to affect you. There is no need to fight the dark at this time. This is a time to embrace your light and banish all darkness with power and confidence. So any agreements within you to run or hide from the dark or fight from the dark or anything binding you from the dark, evoking and clearing and cleansing and banishing. Some of you may have agreements that date back to ancient Egypt, some of you ancient Tibet, some of you to Atlantis, clearing all vows with these cultures or any other culture like these cultures that have any connection to the dark or black magic, clearing all agreements. Clear all minds, all bodies, all timelines, all backup recreation programming. From any lifetime, clearing any agreement. And I call upon your higher self, Metatron and Michael, to destroy any agreements through the mother line that are causing you to fight or be in conflict or to experience aggression or violence, any agreements on the mother line, any stories or energies from the mother line that you've taken on, that this is the right thing to do. To fight, to be engaged in conflict or to be a victim. Releasing all agreements, releasing all energies from the mother line in your body, back to the universe. Releasing any traumas that generate such stories. And calling upon Archangel Raphael to assist you in releasing and neutralizing anything in the mental body, anything in your mental body that attracts conflict or violence. Releasing from your field. I call upon Higher Self, Metatron and Michael to evoke and destroy any agreements in the Father line. Promises to suffer or struggle or to fight evil or to be involved in conflict or violence. Evoking and destroying. And calling upon Archangel Raphael to release any negative stories or beliefs or energies in the mental body. Releasing anything from the father line. And anywhere you have the belief from any lifetime that the dark is stronger than the light, I call upon Archangel Raphael to neutralize that belief. This belief is no longer relevant as the light is increasing on the planet day by day. And I call upon your higher self a Metatron 
to call back any lost soul parts that you have fragmented in this lifetime because of trauma or conflict or aggression, calling back any soul parts. Calling it back and calling into your hands a large clear quartz crystal and allowing the, those soul parts to return into the crystal. See light flowing from 360 degrees into the crystal, calling your light back. Surrender it to your higher self. Please clear, cleanse, heal and return this light to me when the healing is done. Call another crystal in your hands, size of a waterman and sealed in fire. This crystal is highly magnetic. I ask your higher self and Metatron to assist you in calling back any soul parts you have lost from any other lifetime because of violence or aggression or trauma. Calling it back into the crystal. And again, see light flowing from 360 degrees. This time, light from other lifetimes is ready to be returned to you, that is ready to be returned to you. When the light stops coming, surrender it to your higher self. Please clear, cleanse, heal, and return this light at the right time to my oversoul. Returning all fragmented light to the oversoul. Breathe and soften and open, relax. And calling upon your higher self and Gabriel to release any trapped emotions of fear or rage or any other such emotions in your field. Releasing trapped emotions of fear and rage. Breathing and releasing. And I call upon your higher self and Gabriel to increase your sense of acceptance and self-love. Acceptance and self-love. self and Gabrielle to send love to your inner child, your inner vulnerable selves, any part of you that needs more love, more safety. Sending love, healing, the light of acceptance to your vulnerable selves, wherever they may be within your energy field.
and some selves may be in hiding some selves may want to remain invisible whatever the state of these selves allowing more love acceptance the sense of safety to return to your psyche And I call upon your higher self, the goddess Athena, with Michael and Metatron, to increase the power of the shielding around you. Increase the power of the shielding around you. And the goddess offers you a helmet of light to protect your crown and third eye and also your throat chakra, a helmet of light. Take this helmet of light and allow it to be lowered upon your head, shielding you from interference. And this shielding is temporary. You can take it off and remove it and bring it back in any time you wish. Armoring is not to be there permanently, only as necessary, only in times of need. Feel this great helmet of light around you. And the goddess offers you a breastplate, front and back, protecting your heart all the way down to the base chakra. Feel the breastplate, front and back, shielding your body. Breastplate of light, of light, high frequency light. Just breathe and allowing this armoring on your body, again, temporary, only to be called and used in time of need and then released back to the light. Allow the goddess to offer you a cone of light around your legs and pelvic area like a great skirt a skirt of light reaching down into the crystalline grid, protecting your legs and feet and pelvic area. Just breathe and allow this armoring around you. And the goddess offers you a great shield, a great shield of light that you can place at the back of your field, three or four feet behind your heart chakra. A great shield, a circular shield of light. Upon this shield, Archangel Uriel places a protective, five pointed golden star in a circle of light, a golden pentacle. Allow this shielding to give you extra protection at the back of your field, the back of your field. And the goddess also gives you another shield three or four feet in front of your energy field. Huge circular shield, giving you extra protection. The midsection of your body, chakras in the midsection of your body. And again, Uriel places a symbol of protection, a golden five-pointed star in a circle of light on the shield. And 
goddess gives you a light sword in one hand and this sword can be used to cut any cords or intrusions in your field so you can pull them out throw them to the fire So all of this armoring and weaponry is only temporary, only when needed. You can call it around you when needed and then surrender it back to the light. Finally, the goddess, Pallas Athena, offers you a connection to the owl, power animal guide connected mostly to this goddess to guide you, to guide your intuition, to help you find your way. To help you see through the darkness of difficult times. The owl is both guide and also warrior protector for the owl itself is a great hunter or huntress. So both guide and protector spirit. Feel this being in your energy field. To call when needed in times of difficulty or challenge. Feeling your energy field shielded, all cords released, all entities released, all agreements that causes suffering or struggle released, bloodline agreements released, soul parts returned. The goddess with Michael and Metatron and your higher self have increased the shielding around you, offering you temporary shielding and armor from helmet on the head breastplate front and back, a skirt of light going down into the crystalline grid and a shield front and back with the extra protection from Archangel Uriel. Finally your guide the owl leading you and guiding you and just spend a moment now connecting to that being, that being. And the goddess offers you a symbol of light, a symbol of light that represents your connection to this goddess, this warrior goddess of light, a symbol of light. See that symbol of light appear before you. Take that symbol within your being as light. Allow it to be absorbed in your energy field, in your etheric body. To reinforce your courage and power in this time of difficulty. Breathe and allow that to open, activate and awaken in your body. Whatever it needs to open, activate and awaken, including qualities of courage and power. And when you're ready, thanking the goddess, thanking the goddess for all these gifts. And 
and allowing her energy to step back from your energy field and thanking all the archangels around you horizontal plane Uriel Gabriel Michael Raphael allowing them to step back thanking Sandalphon to release the intensity of the power of the earth grid and thanking Metatron who begins to release the intensity of the power of the Christ grid and also at the same time closes the portal of light that he opened earlier to release all entities in your field So breathing and allowing this armoring of light around you, protecting you in any time of difficulty. As always, this transmission is offered to you with love and blessings, love and blessings.